This video is brought to you by Movavi Video Editor. What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, we're going to check out Movavi Video Editor Plus 2022. What is new? Because right now we are October, we're approaching 2022 because they actually released this version a couple days ago. And I'm really, really excited. And they reached out to me and they said, Alex, we have the perfect perfect version for you for Movavi like you love it every single year so I'm really excited guys and also guys my full-length album fire on all cylinders is now finally able to pre-order it for you guys the link is down in the description as well if you want to get your hands on that it will be released on Amazon Music Spotify Apple Music Deezer Audio Mac every platform you can imagine YouTube as well so make sure to check out the link down below just to go ahead and pre-save it because it's releasing on October 22nd at midnight all right guys so with that all the way, let's go ahead and check out what Mobile Video Editor Plus 2022 can do. I'm really, really excited. So let's go ahead and get started right after the intro. All right, guys. So as you can see right now, this is Movavi Video Editor Plus 2022. The link is down in the description if you guys want to go ahead and pick it up right after the video. So of course, with every kind of update with video editing software, they don't really change too much when it comes to layout because it's really, really handy that you get used to like the whole interface. And it's also really efficient that they don't go ahead and change up the layout, for example, every version. So they have to get used to a new user interface. So right here on the right, we have, of course, our preview. That's where we will be seeing our preview what we are editing what we have made so far on the bottom right here we have our entire timeline where we can add in our tracks or videos or music sound effects or all our audio basically on the left right here we have our import button basically meaning that we can drag in our files or select them right from here we can record our video we can capture a screencast we can record audio meaning that we can make a voiceover if you want to with your microphone right inside the program or we can make a quick video, make your video in a few steps. So let's go ahead and start at the very top left. So right here we have the file import button, which basically means that you can go ahead and drag in all your video files, your audio files right in there, or you can just click on this button and then you can go and select them right first like that. All right, so once you have imported your files, right here we have our media bin, and that's basically where you will see all the files that you have imported. So just so you can make sure that everything that you need for your project is efficiently and actually in there. So once you have checked everything like that, we have the sounds button. So right here we have all kinds of sound effects such as a beep, a beep set, we have gunshots, we have DJ, we have a crash, we have city ambience, very, very nice. We also have music right here, which can actually lead up to a very nice and cinematic video, depending on what kind of style you're editing. That you can just also choose on the genre, which one would fit the best for your project. We have sample videos, meaning that you have like these overlays, such as bubbles, camera, candle, city, clock, clouds, old film, news flash, money, flames, film strip, countdown two, countdown one. We have all kinds of really, really nice overlays. Let's say this volcano, if you click on there, this is what it looks like. And if you're happy with it, you can just drag it straightly into your timeline. All right, so we also have backgrounds, meaning that if you are making, for example, a thumbnail besides your video, you can just drag in this really nice sunburst effect or basically any background that you like. We have sunset space, we have a seashore, we have white, we have yellow stripes, very cool. And you even have this transparent camera overlay. Let's say that you want to make this night vision effect. You can just go ahead and drag in this camera overlay right here. So that looks very, very nice. All right, so below that is one of my favorites, which is the effect packages, meaning that you have all kinds of packages ready to go but if you have any external ones in mind you can click on for example available and then you can just search right here at the very top to see what you're looking for and right here on this button it will show you exactly which one you have installed already so that's very very sweet that they have actually upgraded a lot of different features and also these media files such as video sound effects with this version I'm really really stoked on this version actually and also below this one we have the filters menu which basically is color grading so if you have a clip that looks very very plain almost black and white or shot in vlog or s log you can actually go ahead and color grade these very easily by just dragging these filters 
onto your videos. So let me just show you guys real quick. This is the intro clip of this video, but as you notice, this is how I always shoot my videos. Very, very plain, almost no color, but that's actually allowing me to color grade really, really nicely and optimally. So right here, let's say that we have this one. Let's drag it onto the video. So as you notice, this makes a huge, huge difference. Now, I wouldn't pick this one personally because it doesn't really fit that much. But of course, you have a lot of different presets to choose from to really make your video come to life. Let's say, for example, this one, which gives us almost like this more of a night vision. But I think the color burn would actually be very cool as well. All right, that looks almost like that I had a power cut while recording. So I'm just going to go and press Control Z. But you guys get the point. You can just drag on any kind of color grading that would fit. Of course, you can press Control Z to undo the filters if you're just testing out for a little bit until you find the right preset. Very, very sweet. Below that, we have all the featured ones. We have the noise. We have adjustments, artistic. We have blurs if you want to blur a certain section of your video. As you can see, that looks really, really nice as well. We have the color filters, which is more of a color grading kind of style too. If I drag it on there, this is what it looks like, more of a yellow touch to it. We have Picasso, which is more of a green slash green color. The options are endless, guys, and you can keep on going on forever, creating your own custom color grading presets. And then we have the balloons. We have light leak effects, which you can drag on right on your video as well. So if I play it back, Can see that they're actually moving they're not just photos we also have this one which is of course all kinds of textures that we can drag onto the video if you want to create this you know let's say that you're behind like a glass door or a glass window and of course we have the vignettes as well which is more of this black fade towards the edges all right guys so one of my favorite features of the software are always the transitions that they have really really nicely programmed for you so let's say they want to create a cut you can just press Control b on your keyboard to make a cut right here and then you can create a transition by dragging it in between these two clips on that cut. That looks very, very nice. And of course, it doesn't really look that efficient on this clip because it's the same video, but just a different jump cut. But if you're gonna edit this to a different kind of scene or a whole different clip, that's gonna look a lot, a lot better. We also have a flash. Let's see what that one looks like. It's not really that basic and you don't have to go ahead and animate all of these things yourself. Very, very sweet. We have the parallax, we have artistic, we have crossfades, we have blurs, transitions, circle, blocks, geometric, ripple, warp. You know, let's say that you want to have this kind of a swirl vibe. Let's see what that one looks like almost like this wave that's across with water. And we also have the wipes, we have zooms, we have also with sound and also the offset. So now that we have the transitions as well covered with the color grading, we can also of course add in text. We have all kinds of titles that are pre-animated for you. You can just go and drag them into your timeline. And the only thing that you have to do yourself is just edit the text just like this. If you have a long name, you can just go and stretch this little box right here more to the right just to make sure that everything fits. You can just align it very easily with this green help line. And that's just really, really cool that you don't have to go and spend so much time animating with keyframes and doing all that stuff yourself. Because if I play it back, this is what the title looks like. So as you notice guys, just with a few drag and drops into the timeline, you can actually make your videos really, really come to life. It is so, so easy. And that's always the case with, with Movavi. And then right here we have the basic text files, of course. We have artistic, opening, and the speech bubble overlays that you can drag onto your timeline as well. If you want to create some sort of a cartoon conversation or if you're thinking about something. So if you're editing and you want to, you know, spice up your videos a little bit with stickers or that you're saying that people should give the video a like if it was helpful, you have this thumb up icon that you can just drag onto the timeline right here you can reposition that to the bottom left corner for example to make people like the video as well you can hit apply and then we have all kinds of emojis we have this instagram like icon we have a heart we have an exclamation mark we have a bang we have an animated rectangle and of course the list guys goes on and on right here very very cool you don't have to go ahead and download all kinds of photos from google they're all the way right here at your fingertips. All right, guys, so right here we have more tools as well, which is the color adjustments, 
crop and rotate, we can overlay, we have panning and zooming, stabilization, animation, highlight and contrast, chroma key if you're using a green screen like I am right now, scene detection, logo and slow motion. All right guys, so what I also want to show you guys is this really, really nice bright gradient gift pack that you will also get when you are upgrading to this new version through your subscription. So what this actually is, is it will come with this software, like I mentioned, when you upgrade, meaning that you can use all kinds of really, really cool effects such as right here, if I click on the titles, right here we have, of course, the bright gradient and then we have all of these really, really cool overlays that we can drag into our timeline. Let's say that you want to use this Facebook one. Then you have this really, really cool overlay. Let's just type in our Facebook page, which is this one. Now, of course, if you're having a little bit of a longer name, you can just always go and resize this text as well to a smaller size until it fits. Just like that, make sure to also position it really, really nicely and centered. And also change up the font to also make it look a little bit more nice than just the standard one. But of course, guys, this one is also animated, as you can see right here. And that looks looks very, very nice. We also have this one for Instagram, for YouTube itself. We also have this palette right here. And then also just this neon sign that you can just use, for example, as your name, lower third or anything like that. And it's really, really nice. They also have this one in the text. But right here, if you click on this one, which is the stickers one, we also have this bell icon, meaning that we can just say in our video, like make sure to also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified. And that's also animated, as you notice right here. And we also have the like overlay but this package contains also effects for audio so let's go to the audio editing tab right here we have the sound autocorrect meaning that we have like this enhanced voice recording we have a noisy place and we also have a recording studio so what this essentially does is it's going to cancel out all of the noisy background sounds as well which is really really cool we also have audio effects right here with tons of other different buttons we also have this one which is very very nice so what is also important guys is you can also go ahead and add in like distortion to your audio. You can even use a flanger effect, which is actually something that I used a lot while working on my music that I use this flanger on my guitar sound. So right here, if you want to add in distortion, you can click on overload, which is very nice. And it's of course going to add in a lot of, you know, noise and all that. It's also used for memes quite a lot. You can use the flanger, like I mentioned, you can click on robot if you want to. You can have this telephone effect, radio. You want to pitch it higher or lower, add an echo. There is so much possible and it's actually endless. By the way, guys, the link in the description will also have a discount of 30% ready for you when you purchase the subscription to Movavi Video Editor Plus 2022. So make sure to check the link down below, guys, to also get this Bright Gradient gift pack with all kinds of really nice effects. We have also regular updates and new features containing in each version. And there's also premium tech support on the website if you guys are struggling with something. So we also have audio editing right here, meaning that we can also do sound autocorrect. We have audio effects. Let's say that your audio is really, really soft and it can use some more bass. You can just click on audio effects and then you can have your echo. We have muffled, we have overload, low pitch, very low pitch, telephone effects. So let's say that you're making a skit and you have a conversation with somebody on the telephone. You can just go and drag that right into your timeline. So yeah, also have your equalizer, as you notice right here that we can just drag up the high ends and the low mid as well. It is very, very cool that you can just completely customize all the audio yourself because let's say that you have not an external microphone or the microphone isn't that good of a quality, you can still approve it a lot by just adding all of these effects. And that's the same for if you have like noise outside, for example, or you have this weird buzz in your mic and you haven't noticed that during the recording, you can click on noise removal and then you can just do it exactly that way. We also have a noise gate. So that basically means that it's like a gate. It opens and it closes. So if you have audio and you're saying something, the gate goes open, the audio comes through, and if you're silent, you're not going to hear any kind of buzzing, for example, or ambient stuff from around the, like, on the street. It will completely cut off, and you can just also see what the threshold is. Like, how far do you want to have that gate to close? But I would actually just put this one, let's say, halfway, so it's still not going to affect the way I'm talking, but it's going to, for example, cancel out any kind of noise or buzzing that's happening right here when I'm not saying something. And that's basically what a noise gate is doing. All right, so we also have a compressor, meaning that we can make sure to you know level all the audio the same and then we have the synchronization tab if you want to synchronize audio with the video automatically it's very very nice so once you have finished your video it is ready for exporting what you can do is click on file at the very top save project as of course we're going to first save a project just in case if it might crash during the editing or during the exporting and once you have done that we are ready to render so once we have saved our project we are ready to render so right here we have the export button and then we're going to 
click on export video, but you can upload it straight to YouTube, to Google Drive, to Vimeo, or you can just click on this one or also the audio separately. Let's click on video and right here we have all our formats. I'm gonna just pick MP4. We're gonna give this a name, let's say rendered video. You can also choose where it's going to be saved. You can click on browse. The quality is of course is going to be on high. We have our resolution which is 1920 by 1080 and you can also see that the estimated file size is going to be between 69 megabytes and 260 megabytes. Right here we have the advanced button and you can also choose the frame rate. So if you shot your video in 60 frames per second you can just drag this one all the way up to 60 right here or even 120 frames per second if you have some really really high quality slow motion footage and then we can also put the quality on a maximum. The sample rate for the audio is going to be 44.1 kilohertz and we're going to hit OK and now we can just click on start and now it's going to render. It's going to give you a remaining time calculator. Now I want to mention that of course how long is it going to render? It depends on your system. How much RAM do you have? How long is the video? How many effects have you applied onto the video like color grading? How much music is there? All of these aspects make a huge difference in the file size and the length it needs to render as well and that is basically how to do it you can also render only the audio to mp3 a waveform aac and then you can also save it onto your computer as an iphone format or just a sony lg panasonic everything is in there and also to youtube google drive or vimeo so guys this is movavi video editor plus 2022 this is how to import your clip how to add in sound effects music how to cut your videos very very simple guys you just have your control b shortcut right here to go ahead and drag it around but as you notice right here it is not really moving and that's because we have to click on this little icon on the left and then we can actually move it freely throughout the timeline it is that simple thanks a lot for watching guys the link is down in the description if you guys want to go ahead and check out movavi video editor plus show movavi some love and this is movavi video editor plus 2022 all right, guys, so that's it for this video. This is how to use Movavi Video Editor Plus 2022. And also make sure to let me know if you would like to have this angle more than just the regular one where my camera was sitting all the way back there and I had like all the guitars in the background. Make sure to let me know if you like this angle more because of course, I think this is more like a 2020 style. So make sure to let me know down in the comments. The link is down in the description as well to pick up Movavi Video Editor Plus 2022. Thank you so much, Movavi, for sponsoring this video. And I'll see you guys, obviously, in the next video.